Talk to anyone in the Filter Queen family, and they'll tell you that this company has always been more about people than it has been about machines. While it's true that the Filter Queen has always been a great product, it's the thousands of Filter Queen family members over the years that have really made it such a huge success. Make no mistake about it, everyone who ever got down to dig dirt doing a Filter Queen demo became a cherished member of this tight-knit and exclusive family, each one sharing in an opportunity that has enriched countless lives. Some 80 years have passed since the birth of Filter Queen, but one thing has always remained the same. Great people and a great product like the Filter Queen will always join together to achieve some of the greatest dreams. The year was 1928. The place was Chicago, Illinois. Frank Callahan and his brother Martin had just created a new enterprise called Health More Sanitation Systems. And by 1930, it had become the largest direct selling organization in the city. But the Callahans had an even more ambitious and bigger dream. They met a young man named Ed Yonkers, who was working on a patent for a home cleaning system like no other at the time. On a business trip, he discovered a paper that sparked a fantastic idea. I was on the train on the way back, and I was thinking about that paper, and I, I visualized an inverted cone of that smooth, poor, very porous paper with the incoming air driving, uh, uh, hitting it on, an, on a tangential angle, knocking the dirt off and, and dropping it in the pan below. And uh, you have a beginning of, of the Filter Queen, and, and it's probably still is one of the best dust separators in the business. Ed's cyclonic action and his use of a filter cone were just the revolutionary breakthrough that the Callahans were looking for. The Callahan's marketing expertise met with Yonkers' ingenious innovation, and the Filter Queen was born. It didn't take long before the Callahan set up offices and manufacturing in downtown Chicago. Soon, hundreds of filter queens were rolling off the assembly line, ready for delivery to a brand new network of filter queen distributors. Quality manufacturing and direct sales were the key to Healthmore's success from the start. And by the late 50s, hundreds of filter queen dealers were enjoying a lifestyle that was unlike any other at the time. When I started in the early 50s, the average guy with a regular job was doing really good if he made about $100 a week. With Filter Queen, you could make five or ten times that much. It was a fabulous opportunity then and an even better one today. Chuck Ellens also recognized this fabulous opportunity and quickly left his job as a produce truck driver behind. He witnessed a Filter Queen demo that would lead him to a lifelong career. I was absolutely impressed with it, and my wife was impressed with it. One thing, it wasn't a heavy product. Uh, it was a very, very basic product at the time, and it looked like it was very, very sturdy. And uh, so, uh, between both of us, uh, uh, we just thought it'd be a good product to have in the house. At the time when we bought it, didn't really know that I'd be selling the rest of my life or be involved in it, but that's how it turned out. Continuous improvement has brought the Filter Queen through many changes over the years. Some ideas have come and gone, but one thing has never changed. The performance of the Filter Queen has always impressed everyone who has ever seen it. It was before its time with the air filtration aspects of how it would work and the fact that it was by far the best product out there on the market and still is. A young Ted Timmers saw a demo of the product and he was hooked too. I sat there and I watched this whole demo like a customer. I thought, wow, wow, it was amazing. I thought, wow, I could do that. And if it wasn't for that demonstration, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here today. Having an impressive product like the Filter Queen to sell attracted more and more people into the business and into the Filter Queen family. Throughout the US and Canada, dealers and distributors were sharing in the opportunity and building their personal dreams. Well, I actually went for my first interview uh, for Filter Queen on June 6, 1978 in Livonia, Michigan. I went into the office, saw my first Filter Queen presentation, 
At the time when I was interviewed, then they did a full presentation. So when they sucked up the bullets and the bolts uh, and started sucking cushions in the plastic bags, I thought, man, this is, this, is, this is crazy. It was pretty bizarre. And I figured if there was ever anything I could go out and sell, this was going to be the product. By now, the filter queen was really coming of age. While it was still the basic hardworking and durable machine Ed Yonkers had invented, it now sported a more modern look, a more powerful motor, and a brand new addition the power nozzle. It was even given a more fitting name, the Majestic, and people who saw it just loved it. Oh, they love the product. People, there's not a single person I've met that has watched a good demonstration that has not liked the product. What they really liked was all the dirt we got out of the cushions. There was a lot of people back in the 70s and 80s who saw a lot of in-home demonstrations with other types of cleaners. And so there were a lot of vacuum cleaners being sold for a lot of money back then. In every home we went into, we pulled tons and tons of dirt. And I think overall, that just blew people away. The ever inventive and creative staff soon delivered a companion product that would clean the air in the home 24 seven. The Defender joined the Majestic and now dealers had double the opportunity to sell. It's, it's the Defender that created the whole second wave of our business now. Because when we've added that Defender to the presentation now, it's created like a double sell. So I think the younger generation has uh, what I consider like the juice ball in baseball today because that Defender makes a big difference in the selling process. By now, the Filter Queen family had grown to include members from almost every state in the U.S. and all throughout Canada and even into Europe. It was now time to take the next big step. Uh, since Mr. Foley has come aboard, uh, we've become a worldwide company. And we really weren't that before he came aboard. Uh, all the, the Filter Queens that were sold in Japan August Herkesheimer is responsible for a huge amount of that, and his father has started it. So that's been huge, and Dan Duggan worked with August, and the, the combination really clicked. And, uh, Ted Timmers had worked out in Europe, and uh, had that really gone for a long time. So we've had some real good milestones. My father was the first person to convince Healthmore to export its products. That was back in the early 70s, and that was to Japan. I started working for him in 1986 as a second generation distributor in Japan, but it was when Dan Duggan and I hooked up that our business, uh, the Healthmore business, really took off in Asia. While the focus has always been on selling the Filter Queen and Defender directly to the consumer through the Filter Queen family network, new ideas and change have always been welcomed to help bring in new customers and keep established ones involved. Manufacturing facilities were expanded once again to ensure a steady flow of quality products, this time in Strongsville, Ohio. With the company growing into such a dynamic organization, it was time to rally the entire Filter Queen family together. For the first time ever, a worldwide convention was held in beautiful Las Vegas. The first worldwide convention, of course, that we did uh, three years ago, that was one of the, the most magical moments in Filter Queen because that's where, for the first time, we brought people from over 30 countries around the world with translators and different languages and interpreters, and, and it was absolutely gave you the picture that this is a worldwide corporation. I mean, the, the camaraderie was just incredible, and that's when I realized that, hey, this is home. This is family for me. The Filter Queen opportunity has brought together many dedicated and hardworking individuals in the last 80 years. People from all walks of life who have teamed up together to create one of the most dynamic organizations in the world. But there's a lot of history with a lot of people that have helped build this program. I mean, it's kind of like looking at building a railroad. I mean, there's a lot of people that laid a lot of lumber and ties and, and railroad track across this country. and so. There's a lot of people that have helped us build this organization, and uh, I think a lot of people have taken a lot of pride in it and, uh, and reaped a lot of benefits from it, too, as well. It was, it was very exciting. I, I really, uh, uh, it was a different world for me, meeting people and watching people helping you. Uh, whatever you want, dial the number, there's somebody on the other line trying to help you to move forward, to solve the solution, you know, the problem that you have. Or, you know, and that impressed me a lot. It was the passion of someone uh, trying to help you. You feel it in your heart, you feel it in your bones that he's genuinely trying to help you. So there was a lot of passion in the industry and that really 
kind of tilted the scale toward, hey, to make a life career out of it. 80 years of history, 80 years of wonderful and exciting people, and now, Filter Queen is still growing strong with unlimited opportunities for anyone looking to build a dream. Filter Queen as a product is the greatest product in the world. The Majestic and the Defender, uh, that system sells itself. And regardless of how much you sell it for or in what kind of money, dollars, lira, yen, it makes no difference. It is the best investment a customer can make. But the opportunity itself is the only thing I've ever seen in my 30 years where we can take 18 year olds or 48 year olds and show them the same presentation and say if you're willing to put forward the effort, the desire, put some heart into this thing and really make it the last job you ever go and look for, it becomes an opportunity of a lifetime. And I can't tell you how many people's lives I've seen Filter Queen change. People that walked in just looking for money and wound up with something that you could never even imagine when you walked in the door. You have just witnessed a little of what the last 80 years of Filter Queen has been like. There have been many stories, many successes, many people who have worked very hard to enjoy the benefits of the Filter Queen opportunity. Now, it's your turn. It's your time. You must add your story to this list. You must pass it on and make your own history. Now, it's your turn to make the Filter Queen family grow and to flourish. You can make even a better opportunity for you and for your family Truly, the Filter Queen future is yours.